everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Kimberly, also known as Viva Verduras, and I run a plant-based Mexican food, Instagram, YouTube, and that's it for right now. The reason you clicked on this video in particular is because you saw that today I am making a cauliflower ceviche. This recipe, there's really no other perfect day to have it on a hot day like it's been lately, and it's been hot lately. I don't know where you're at, but here in California, it is hot. The ingredients that I use in my cauliflower ceviche are as follows. First, obviously, cauliflower. Second, tomatoes. Second, this is not second. Third, cucumber. Fourth, lots and lots of lime. Fifth, cilantro. Sixth, am I missing anything? Oh, serrano chile or jalapeno, whichever one you prefer. And then the last ingredient, which is the most important ingredient, is seaweed. Now, why seaweed, you ask? You probably know this, but if you don't, seaweed is going to give it that fish flavor. And I use seaweed quite a lot in my cooking. If if you follow my Instagram, which is here, you will know that I use seaweed a lot when it comes to seafood -y dishes. Without further ado, there is a baby crying out there, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get started on this cauliflower ceviche because I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat, okay? Let's go. Okay, you guys, here are the ingredients that we have to start with. You'll only need three strips of the seaweed, two tomatoes, two to three cucumbers, depending on how much you like, two serrano chiles or two jalapenos, one bunch of cilantro, lots of lime. This isn't even all the lime I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a lot more. And then last but certainly not least, the beautiful staple of the dish, cauliflower. So let's get started. All right, first important thing that we're gonna need to do, wash your produce, wash it all. Even though I'm going to peel this, I'm still gonna wash it because you just never know. I have the biggest pet peeve with this particular recipe, and I'm very precise on how I like my produce cut, and it's very, very finely. So make sure that your produce is finely chopped. If you don't, if you like it more on the chunkier side, go for it. But me, personally, I like it finely, finely chopped. So here is your produce, your beautiful, well-washed produce. And here we have our chopped up rodus. Just leave this aside as we prepare our cauliflower. Okay, so we have our bite-sized pieces of cauliflower. And all we're gonna do now is add it to a pot and top it off with water. Go ahead and add some to the pot. Do, do, do. And then we are just gonna boil it. Okay, you wanna be able to put your fork in the cauliflower, and this is perfect consistency. It's about 20, 25 minutes that I had the cauliflower boiling for. Drain this and let it cool. Okay, everybody, now here is the fun part. Now we are going to add everything together in a chafing dish, bowl, whatever you wanna use. I am using this little chafing dish here. This was like $2 for a pack of three, and it comes with the cover and then the foiled bottom. I'm gonna start off by breaking down my cauliflower. You could do it by hand, which is the way that I do it. Peel off all of the tops on all of the cauliflower pieces, and then just go back and chop with the knife the stem. All you really have to do is squeeze, and then they just pull apart. So like here, squeeze, and then they just pull apart. Here we have the final product. Well, these are the cauliflower heads, but this is about the size you want them to come out to. Here were the stems that didn't break down too well. All I'm gonna do really is just scoop it up and add it. Okay, so we have our cauliflower here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our seaweed. So I'm going to layer on three seaweeds, okay? Literally just crumple them. Time to add our lime. It's just about covered. I actually had to add four more limes, so a total of 14 limes that was added to here. You can actually put this in the fridge and marinate it for a couple hours so it can get fully absorbed. I'm just gonna add the rest of the ingredients to this dish. First is our cucumber. Tomatoes and serrano. The trick is 
Look at how delicious that is. It's just so fresh and vibrant and bomb. I cannot wait to dig in. Now's for the moment we've been waiting for. Now it's time to eat. Now normally you would present this dish on a tostada, but of course, I don't have any available. So what I just did is I fried a tortilla and made it into a makeshift tostada. Here is the beautifully plated cauliflower ceviche tostada. Mmm. This is gonna be really messy, okay? Mmm. Mmm. The way the lime just absorbs in this. It's very light, very fresh, super easy, very inexpensive because you're buying mostly, actually you're buying all produce, so it's perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video, this recipe. Let me know what you think. Thank you again so much for watching this and for subscribing and just being extremely supportive and for your nice comments and for everything. And I think that's enough blabbering for the day. I'm gonna eat this cauliflower ceviche and see you guys next time. Bye.